Turn with me to Mark, the 10th chapter. Begin around that 46th verse, Mark chapter 10, verse 46. We're going to read 46 through 52. Coming from the NIV version, then they came to Jericho. And Jesus, as Jesus and his disciples together with a crowd, were leaving the city of blind man Bartimaeus, that is son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So that they called to the blind man, Cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked the blind man, said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Very briefly, my brothers and sisters, spirit, I want to go in, begin to talk to you and reason with you with this one thought. We all have something to shout about in 2020. We all have something to shout about in 2020. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we are coming to the end of 2020. And yes, on this end, there is a threshold that we're about to cross over in 2021. It's important to understand that we all have something here to shout about. In 2020, we all have had our share of good days, and we've had our share of bad. We've had our ups, and brothers and sisters, we've had our downs. We've had some share of dangers, toils, and snares. But in the midst of it all, God has still been mighty good to each and every one of us. And we have something to shout about. We all have something to shout about as we get ready to enter into 2021. For God inhabits the praises of his people. If the Lord has done anything for you here in 2020, you have something to shout about. If he woke you up this morning, you have something to shout about. If he protected you thus far, you have something to shout about. If he's made a way out of no way, you have something to shout about. Yes, we all have something to shout about. The text informs us that he passed through Jericho. Jesus was on his way through Jericho. And a man by the name of blind Bartimaeus sat by the road of Jericho who was blind and began to shout about. It's something about that Jericho experience that brings about a shout. Seems like he, whenever God moves in Jericho, we begin to see some shouting going on. How many have a Jericho situation where well, you need some victory? You need some walls to come down. I invite you right now now to shout. Shout like you need a miracle. Shout like you need some deliverance. Shout like you need a breakthrough. Shout like you need to be free because we're about to cross over to the other side. We're about to go into 2021. So we need to shout like blind Bartimaeus and know that we're going over to the other side. Yes, blind Bartimaeus teaches us many great things as we get ready to enter into this new season of our lives, as we get ready to enter into doing what God wants us to do, as we get ready to enter into the new year, blind bar matters can teach us some things. That condition that when whatever we encounter in 2021, whatever happened in 2021 does not have to be your end. It can be your beginning. It can propel you to the other side. It can push you into 2021 knowing that God has brought you through. God has made a way out of nowhere. God has protected you. You can go now into 2021 knowing God has kept you. Oh, yesterday, my brothers and sisters, I want to let you know the text here of Blind Bartimaeus lets us know that when he heard that Jesus was coming down the Jericho Road, when he heard that Jesus was coming, he began to shout. When he heard that everything, that Jesus was on his way, he began to shout. Bartimaeus, Blind Bartimaeus heard and when he heard that, that Jesus was coming, he began to shout. What? The, why was Blind Bartimaeus so ready to shout? It's because he heard that Jesus had turned water into wine. He heard that he took two sardines and five biscuits and blessed 5,000 men plus women and children. He heard about the woman with the issue of blood who was healed when she touched the hem of his garment. See, when you hear about the Lord, when you hear about the goodness of God, when you hear about what God has done for you, it should make you shout. 
You should shout about what God has done for you. I stopped by to tell somebody today, yesterday, when he heard that Jesus was coming, that Jesus of now, that son of David, he said, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. He began to shout and ask for the Lord to have mercy on him. Blind Bartimaeus didn't wait till Jesus got to where he was. He shouted before he got there. Some of us need to shout before our change comes. Shout before the Lord enters into our presence. We need to shout right now and let the Lord know that we we'll, we believe him. We trust him that he's going to be there to help us through some situation. See, he, when he shouted before Jesus got there, he lets us know that blind bar may was showing that he had faith that Jesus could heal the situation. He had faith that God could help him in his, in, in his circumstances. He had faith that God can do a mighty thing. See, since you heard, you know that faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And blind Bartimaeus didn't need a preacher to preach him happy. He didn't need the choir to sing him happy. He didn't need a deacon to pray him happy. All he needed to know that the word of God was on his way to him. Jesus Christ was on his way near him, and he began to shout because of that victory. Shout because of that faith. Shout because he knew that the Redeemer could handle his problem. And the Bible says he began to shout, son of David, have mercy on me. All we need to know in this season that the word is near us. If you, if you know things are about to change in your life, you need to shout. If you know you've been a crossover into some financial blessings, you need to shout. If you know you've been a crossover into some healing, you need to shout. If you know that Jesus Christ is near you, you need to shout. Tell somebody enough is enough. I'm going to shout for victory. I'm going to shout my way into 2021. Oh, yesterday, my brother, here's what we need. We do not need to allow, just like Brian Barnum made it, do not allow the opportunity of a lifetime to pass you by. See, some of us get in the presence of God, and because we're in the presence, we're too shame. We'll let an opportunity pass us by. But I'm telling you right now, leave all that stuff about 2020 behind you and press your way to 2021. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Don't let the crowd keep you from getting your shout on. See, the crowd tried to hush old blind Bartimaeus down, but blind Bartimaeus understood. See, what you can't do nothing for me. I'm going to shout to the one who can do something for me. I'm going to shout to the one who can help me. See, they tried to rebuke him. They tried to keep him quiet, but because they tried to keep him quiet, old blind Bartimaeus, he shouted even the more. It the text said, but he shouted all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. See, what I'm trying to tell you, the devil wants you to be quiet, but I want you to shout for the Lord. Shout for victory. Shout for your situation. Shout for your family. Shout to the Lord and let the Lord know that you can pull you through. Even in this day and time, we're living in this here time where a whole bunch of people are trying to hold us back. Don't say it, it don't take all that. But I stopped by to tell you, tell you, it takes all that and then some. Blind Bartimaeus show us that we got to continue in our perseverance for the Lord. We got to continue to shout. We got to continue to pray. We got to continue to praise. We got to continue to study. We got to continue to lift up holy hands. We got to continue until our change comes. See, see, too many times we allow things and circumstances to come in our lives where God is ready to bless us, but we allow people to hinder our blessing. And I stopped by to tell somebody today, if you know that God has done something for you, if, if God has brought you from a mighty long way, you need to make a shout out to the Lord. If you know that God is going to do something for you, you need to shout right now. You need to be a, a, a praise victory warrior for God. See, I, I can't tell your story. And you can't tell my story. You can't tell what God has done for me. And I can't tell nobody what God has done for you. But you can let the world know what God has done. I'm going to shout out and tell my story in 2021. I'm going to shout out and tell them how God has allowed me to make it over to the other side. I'm going to shout and tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Here's the thing. We, like I said, cannot allow an opportunity to pass us by. We can't allow our praise, our shout to be hindered by the crowd. We cannot allow these things to go. We got to shout no matter what. See, he didn't have to press his way like the woman in the issue of blood. 
He didn't have the precious way to get to Jesus. He couldn't do it because he was blind. He didn't have four friends that would bring him to Jesus like the paralyzed man was when they brought him through the roof. When he understood, I don't have nobody to do this for me. I got to do it for myself. See, he used what he had, and what he had was his voice. He began to shout out to the Lord. He began to let out a power shout out to a uh, praise. He began to shout until Jesus heard him. And I stopped by to tell you right now, we got to shout until Jesus hears. See, he shouted so much that he got God's attention. Verse 49 says, when Jesus heard him, he stopped there in the road and said, tell him to come here. See, sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we get up before our prayer uh, before our prayers is answered. See, sometimes we got to stay on our knees and pray a little bit longer. We got to praise a little bit longer. We got to worship a little bit longer. We got to do things to allow God to hear us. See, not only did he not allow the opportunity to pass him by, he didn't allow his his praise to be hindered. He didn't allow the crowd to hinder him from getting there. But the text reveals to us here in verse 50, he let everything go that was hindering him from getting to Jesus, what Jesus was. Look look at verse 50. It says, Bartimaeus yanked off his old coat and flung it to the side. He jumped up and came to Jesus. Oh, my brothers and sisters, in 2020, we all know we've had some things that held us back. We all know that we have some things that are still continuously holding us, but we need to follow blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus said, get rid of everything that's hindering you from getting to Jesus. Get rid of everything that's hindering you from getting to where Jesus is. If it's your job, Get rid of your job if it's hindering you from getting to Jesus. If it's your friends, get rid of your friends if they're hindering you from getting to Jesus. If it's your possession, get rid of those possessions if they're hindering you from Jesus. See, hear what I'm saying. If it's hindering you, get rid of it. If it's not hindering you, then like I said, you can use it to glorify God. See, if gossip, gossiping is causing you to get farther away from Jesus, get rid of gossip. If sin is causing you to get farther from Jesus, get rid of it. If lust is causing you to get farther from Jesus, get rid of anything that's hindering you from getting to Jesus. I tell you right now, get rid of it. Yesterday, my brothers and sisters, we can see here blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus lets us know that we were all in a situation. We all have had things that have hindered us. But I'm so glad that he loved us so much. I'm so glad that we can call out to our master. I'm so glad that we can call out to our heavenly father. I'm so glad that he will hear our shout. See, when we shout in faith, when we shout in honor and humility, God will hear our shout. See, so brothers, I want to tell you right now. As we get ready to leave 2020, I want to tell you right now, shout. There's something about this season that you need, you know, you need to shout about. You need to shout if God has brought you from a mighty long way. You need to shout if God done took care of you. You need to shout if God done made a way for you. You need to shout if God done paid some bills for you. If he's giving you financial blessing, you need to shout. Shout if you know it's good to you. Shout like they shouted at Jericho to make the walls come down. Shout, I'm telling you. Shout about it. Shout like there's no tomorrow. Shout. Shout and tell somebody he's on the main line. So shout and tell him what you want. Shout if you know he saved you in 2020. Shout if you know he protected you in 2020. Shout if you know he he pays your bills for you in 2020. Shout if you know he heals your body in 2020. If you know him, you need to shout and let somebody know. Shout like there is to know tomorrow. Shout. I'm telling you right now, brother, let's shout our way into 2021. Let's shout unto Zion. Let's shout till the walls come down. Let's shout and let the world know that Jesus still lives. I want to say to you all, Happy New Year and enjoy 2021 and shout your way into it. To God be the glory. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. Oh, Father God, we thank you for all that you have done and all that you're going to continue to do. Oh, Lord, we know that 2020 has been a year, Father God, none like we've ever known in our past. But, Father God, we bring thank you for this season. We thank you for right now, Father God, for bringing us to this here day, this here threshold, as we get ready to cross over into to 2021. We want to shout right now, Father God, for all that you have done for us. Father God, you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Lord God, we want to thank you for, for, for keeping us. 
Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for holding us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, oh Lord, for all that you've done. And Father God, we want to bless your name right now. Oh Lord, we know, Father God, we can't live in the past, Father God. We must always press our way towards the future. And Father God, we're going to bless you right now as we cross over into this season of 2021. We want to offer you a sacrifice of praise. We want to offer you, Father God, our bodies and living sacrifices. We want to offer you, Father God, all that we are. Oh, Father God, we want to just bless your name right now, Father God. We want to give you your name the praise. We want to give your name the glory. We want to magnify you in 2021. Oh, Lord, Father God, we ask, oh, Lord, that your light, your, your word be a light unto our path. Oh, Father God, let us walk in the counsel of the godly. Oh, Father God, keep our path straight. Oh, Father God, we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you will clear our path. Make our way straight, Father God. Take all those demonic presence. Take all those things that are not of you. All the, the tactics of the enemy. All those strongholds. All those things that are going to try to bring us down. We asking right now, Father God, that you remove them out of our path. And oh, Father God, if it's your will for us to walk to them, we asking, oh Lord, we walk to them in your strength, that you will see us through Oh, Father God, because you promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Oh, Father God, we want to bless your name right now. We thank you, Father God, as we cross over now into 2021. We thank you right now, Father God, for all that you've done, all that you're going to continue to do, all that you have, have, have promised and, and positioned for. You said you know the plans you have for us. And Father God, we receive those plans right now in the name of Jesus. You gave us plans to prosper us and do us no harm. So, Father God, as we walk over into 2021 we're gonna walk in your goodness we're gonna walk in your holiness we're gonna walk in your counsel we're gonna walk in your strength we're gonna walk by your word we're gonna walk oh lord into 2021 and shout unto zion we're gonna shout unto your name we're gonna let the world know that you are a god and beside thee there is none other oh father god thank you for 2021. We thank you, Lord, for letting us see another year. Oh, Lord, we bless your name now. It is in your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen.